Good evening, I'm Jan Carson. Coming up next on Channel 2 News at 10, the courts will now decide if Judge I.D. McMaster can keep his job. I'm Bill Baeza. Ron Stone is off tonight, and the chase and search ended with a bank robbery suspect caught literally red-handed tonight. Channel 2 News at 10, and next in sight. Hogan. No, you're not. I'm Hulk Hogan. You've heard of the Rock and Wrestling Connection? Now you can see it on Saturday night's main event. Be yeah. there. Kenny Bazemore. Roger Mayweather. The USBA Junior Lightweight Championship. Live on NBC Sports World. Sunday. Check your local store's display. You can still win one of 200 Jeep CJs from Pepsi-Cola. See the difference a leader makes with Kroger Bonus Buys. They're the smartest buys in town. Kroger Mayonnaise, $1.38. Aurora Bathroom Tissue, $1.18. Kroger Coffee, $1.99. And Kroger Cottage Cheese, 99 cents. The smartest buys in town. Kroger bonus buys. See the difference a leader makes. Go Krogering. AT&T is the better business machine. Because when you call AT&T Long Distance Services, you're on your way to making your business work better. Better than your competition. Better in ways you never thought of. AT&T Long Distance Services. The better business machine. Talk with us. AT&T, the right choice. Channel 2, let's all be there. Now, Channel 2 News with Ron Stone, Jan Carson, Weather with Doug Johnson, Ron Franklin on sports. This is Channel 2 News at 10. Good evening. The controversy over State District Judge I.D. McMaster is moving into the courtroom. The judge denies it, but he apparently lives in Galveston County in violation of the state constitution. The Channel 2 I team uncovered the facts of this story, and Rick Nelson is here tonight with the latest developments. Rick? Thanks, Jan. Judge McMaster is one of the most respected judges at the courthouse, but tonight he finds himself on the other side of the bench. The case against him is going to court. Our position is that he is disqualified by virtue of losing his Harris County residency. Today, the district attorney's office filed legal papers to have the judge removed from the office he's held since 1972. There has been a suggestion that the Constitution of Texas is not being complied with, which, if true, disqualifies, in our opinion, Judge McMaster from further serving in office. Obviously, Judge McMaster is entitled to his day in court on those issues. The controversy began Sunday night with a Channel 2 I-Team report that Judge McMaster lives in this Galveston County house and not a sailboat in Harris County, as he claimed. Our investigation had started with allegations the judge had violated the state constitution by not living in the county where he presides. A controversial nonprofit foundation had leased this house across the canal from the judge's home and had taken these photographs. The Center for the Independence of Judges and Lawyers of the United States Incorporated has conducted investigations of judges in several states. But perhaps the real reason is the founder of the group, William Pabst, is scheduled to stand trial on a theft by deception charge in the judge's court on Monday. The district attorney's office began an investigation immediately. Meanwhile, it was business as usual for the judge, even as a debate began on what would become of the cases in his court, should he be found in violation of the Constitution. The most controversial case is the David Port murder trial. The DA said the judge's status would not affect the Port case and others, but Port's attorney had a different view. He said the law is not as clear as the DA would like. Meanwhile, the judge's attorney feels the legal definition of residency is also unclear. We've uh, 
are about the same boat uh, that uh, the Attorney General was in a couple of years ago when he uh, argued so uh, strongly to establish the residency of Howard Hughes. Uh, of course, uh, Mr. Hughes lived over in the Bahamas or somewhere, and uh, he was ultimately determined to be a resident of Texas. The case has been assigned to the court of State District Judge Ann Cochran. Now, the question of Judge McMaster's residency will be decided like any lawsuit. All right, Rick. Thank you. A bank robber made a desperate attempt at freedom this afternoon as FBI agents and police from three different agencies closed in. The chase began when a license plate check led police to a house on Greens Road. The suspe suspect fled through the back door into a wooded area where FBI agents, Houston police, airport police, and sheriff's deputies gave chase. They cornered the man who came out of the bush and was literally caught red-handed. His hand stained with red dye, which had been placed in the money bag taken during the holdup. Witnesses to the robbery say the man walked into a Gibraltar savings and loan at one this afternoon, gun drawn, demanding money. The investigation continues tonight. Gen X Homes has shut down its operations until it can solve some financial problems. Houston sales offices have been closed, but unfinished homes are still being offered by leasing agents. Starkey and Virginia Ashford paid the first month's rent on a Gen X house in the Clayton edition. The Ashford's $545 check has been cashed, but Gen X has no record of their lease. They come back to a good hometown of Houston to retire in and run into such a thing. And I feel sorry for the people out there that have bought homes mm -hmm. because it's gonna turn into tobacco roads what's gonna end up being. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the houses are terribly constructed. Nobody That's told me. Bad. The Ashford's complaints are among two dozen complaints. On the way to the state attorney general's office, the AG's office has ordered Gen X officials to appear in Dallas next week and answer consumers' complaints about their operation. In the meantime, Gen X promises further statements about its financial condition next week. And still ahead this Friday night, everyone in government is talking spending, but no one's talking taxes. The city budget was unveiled today, and some are saying they don't believe what they're seeing. Channel 2 News, brought to you by Foley's at the heart of Texas. Oscar knows me here. Oscar knows me here. And there. And here. From the man who knows what makes a woman beautiful. Oscar de la Renta Fragrances. Especially for her. At Foley's. Now you know. Shop Foley's downtown till 6. Branch stores till 9.30. Victims of the war in Afghanistan have come to Houston for help. That story is coming up on Channel 2 News at 10. <laughs> These are just a few buildings that a medium-sized Houston company called Confederate Steel had a hand in. I'm Clayton Underwood, president of that company. And I'm their Texas Commerce banker, Larry Schrock. Confederate fabricates steel rebars like these for many projects all over Texas. You know, we started our business over 20 years ago, and Texas Commerce has been our only bank. They're a medium-sized company in a really competitive business. If we don't have the reinforcing steel, we don't get the order. We really need Texas Commerce. We know this business, and we believe in Clayton. That's why we provide him with the working capital he needs. While we're not one of Texas Commerce's largest customers, you'd never know it by the way they treat us. Texas Commerce bankers like Larry Schrock can help you succeed, too. Texas Commerce Bank Houston. Working for your success. In Washington, the Senate has approved a budget that calls for no new taxes, and it cuts $56 billion from the federal deficit. President Reagan agreed to the compromise plan, even though it doesn't spend as much on defense as he would like. The president says he will ask Congress for more money if he thinks the nation's security is being threatened, but the budget now goes to the House, where the Budget Committee chairman says defense spending will likely be cut even more. Meanwhile, the mayor's 1986 budget proposal calls for no new taxes either, but Houstonians will be paying higher water and sewer bills if that budget is approved. Mayor Kathy Whitmire released the new budget figures today, calling for spending that exceeds $1.3 billion. 
Bob Nicholas has the story. The mayor said overall revenues for the city were up about 5%, thus all departments got about a 5% increase in their budgets. But that's primarily to maintain the current level of services. The increase to taxpayers will be in their water and sewer bills. Our effort has been uh, not to find ways to spend more money, but to see that we were making the best use of the money that is available to the city. The very fact that the mayor is contending that she's maintaining service levels despite the uh, very poor showing in revenue side of the budget uh, has got to make somebody skeptical who's been looking at this budget for three years and who has watched systematically various areas of the budget and various services deteriorate. The mayor is proposing an increase in manpower for both the police and fire departments. The men and women who operate these cars for the Park Police Department can also expect some big changes in the mayor's new budget. She's proposing to disband the unit and put the six to five positions in the warrant division. I don't think you stand to gain anything when it comes to police service. Right now, the city marshals are relegated to uh, pushing paper and serving as court bailiffs, and you're going to send uh, 65 trained policemen over there to do that. City parks won't be without protection, the mayor says. She is proposing to assign regular Houston police officers to protect these areas of the city. But these decisions must be approved by city council before they can be put into operation. And council members plan to spend about six weeks examining the new budget before deciding whether to approve it or demand changes. Bob Nicholas, Channel 2 News. President Reagan is declaring his European trip a uh, success tonight, despite the Bitburg controversy and the hecklers that were present at most of his speeches. He says his mission was accomplished at the economic summit, and the president claims he was able to improve relations with the Soviet Union. But Soviet leader Gorbachev has not yet answered the invitation to meet with the president in September when the UN General Assembly convenes. A Houston company has come up with a Texas version of the age-old Chinese puzzle box, and the Chinese are buying. Myers Maritime Lines is sending oil rigs to the People's Republic of China, but those rigs are in so many pieces that it took 250 trucks to get the parts to the port of Houston. The Texans have a plan. Each shipping crate has been marked with giant colored dots. So it's a simple matter. All the Chinese have to do is match the colors on 250. Great. Oh, They'll boy. probably be able to do that very well, though. Ron Franklin is next with sports. A veteran in auto racing has hung it up. And a bit later on, the shocking story of elderly people abused by their loved ones. Look, you play the game every day. You drive here for the special on aspirin. You drive there to save on film, someplace else for shampoo. And you think you've won the game. But have you? Now, how much did you spend on gas? What about your time? Now, there is another way to play. You bring anybody else's ads for specials to Eckerd Drugs, and Eckerd guarantees to meet anybody's advertised price. So you come to Eckerd, and when the game is over, you'll know who's won. One drugstore is better than the rest. Eckerd. At Sutherland's, we're making our mark with quality brand names of unbeatable value during our big brand sale now. Get Pinecroft quality crafted shutters and doors. Ready to finish louver shutters give a new look to any window. At Closets, get a facelift with full louver or louver panel bifold doors. Sutherland's has many sizes to fit all your window or door treatment needs. Quality and value during the big brand sale today at Sutherland's. Helping you build it better. Once upon a time, turbocharging, convertible, automatic overdrive, and excitement were just car words. Well, hold on if you can to the 135 horsepower Toyota Extra Cab SR5 Turbo. Reach for the sky in a Toyota 4Runner with removable roof and room for five. Or go for a Sunday drive in the only 4x4 with electronically controlled automatic overdrive. Nobody talks truck excitement like your Toyota dealer. Nobody else can give you the feeling. You're on your way The world is opening its door Dear Dad, just got back from my interview with Dow. Sounds like my kind of research. Finding new ways to grow more food, ways to help sick people. I'm going to go for it, Dad. And I'm going to try to make you proud. Yes, you can make a difference in what tomorrow brings. Love, David. It's time for sports, and here's Ron Frank. 
Well, I'm smiling, but as soon as we go to the video, I'm going to do something else. Joe Necro got some help early tonight, which was a change, and then the wheels came off, as the old expression goes. This is in the fifth. These are happy times. Kevin Bass with a home run. Astros lead two to nothing. Then DePino comes in for Necro, as there's a few problems going on. Bases loaded in the eighth inning. Look who steps to the plate. You know who? Dave Parker. Base hit. All of a sudden, this game is tied at two apiece. So Dave Smith comes in. Cedeno rips a single down the left side. Cincinnati goes in front, and you got to watch this one closely. Base hit. Not a base hit. It's an error. There's one. And then a double whoops, as it also gets by Jose. So tomorrow, when you take your son to his Little League game and see them do it, remember the guys who were overpaid for it do it also. 5-2 to two the final score. And they say all good things must come to an end. Rick Mailer of the Atlanta Braves was looking for his eighth win of the year without a defeat. He got hammered in Montreal tonight, 5 to nothing. his first loss of 1985. That's the first time, by the way, that the Expos have beaten Mailer in two years, and his fielding was not so hot either. To the scoreboard, the finals to report. Montreal with a shutout there. New York has shut out Philadelphia. Same score. San Diego leading the Cubs in the fifth. L.A. and Pittsburgh, no score. St. Louis and San Francisco, nothing to report. Is yet. American League, Oakland and Boston. They are in extra frames. It is Toronto leading in the ninth. Minnesota Baltimore tied up in the ninth inning. Chicago trails Detroit in the eighth. In the ninth inning, California is heading Milwaukee. Kansas City trailing New York by that same score in the eighth. And also in the eighth inning, Texas is leading Cleveland by three. Well, it's going to be Boston and Philadelphia in the Eastern Conference Finals as tonight Boston defeated Detroit in Game 6, 123 to 113. We would love to show you some highlights, but CBS has embargoed them so we so they can uh, tape delay it later on. They call that exclusivity. We call it something else. Two-time Indianapolis winner Gordon Johncock shocked a lot of folks today. He announced his retirement from the sport of racing after 30 years. John Cock had run at Indianapolis 20 straight times. And Mario Andretti, who broke in with John Cock, applauded the move today, saying, you don't dwell on these things. When you make up your mind, you get out. Afterwards, Gordy explained why he made the decision. It's not fun anymore like it used to be, and uh, it's time to quit. And your team's reaction to it? Well, some of them were happy, some of them were sad. <laughs> Did you talk it over with Pat before? No, I didn't talk it over with anybody. I made the decision strictly on my own. I made it this morning. Gordy Johncock at the track today. Qualifying begins on Saturday up at Indianapolis. Bobby Ray Hall ran over 214 yesterday. Paul Page shows us the run and visits with Ray Hall. He was using his second car with some improved underside aerodynamics to allow straightaway speeds of 222 miles an hour and very little slowing in the turns. He turned that quick circuit in the heat of midday. Everybody's been going fast right at the end of the day when it's coolest. And you know what difference that can make. And if you do it in the middle of the day with the sun out, uh, I think it, it says something. So the speeds are going up there. Actually, today, Andretti ran a speed even faster than Ray Hall yesterday. And a lot of folks are worried about what might happen. We'll show you what happened at the track today. Herm Johnson, and the video was picked up very quickly. You will see the accident. We'll see a replay of it. Herm Johnson in critical condition tonight where he lost control of his car and banged to the wall and banged very hardly. One more time as we take a look at it. Coming out of the turn, losing control and banging against the wall. Herm Johnson, the latest report, critical condition tonight at Speedway Hospital. Let's go to the scoreboard in golf. Mac O'Grady, three strokes over Oosterhaus, Eastwood, and also Buddy Gardner, Watson, and Cook at 136. And with the LPGA, Alice Miller is leading by one in that one. A couple of congratulations tonight. The Conroe boys have won the 5A golf title in the state of Texas. The Conroe McCullough girls won the 5A title today. And as far as Aldine is concerned, they got the temporary restraining order. They're playing against West Orange Start tonight, and they're leading 9-1, to one, play in the fifth inning. And, of course, that may not be an umpire who decides that one. It may still be a judge as to whether they move on in the playoffs should they win. All right, sir, thank you. Have a great weekend. You too, Ron. Still ahead, the East Coast is crying for rain. And then a mission of mercy tonight is war victims arrived in Houston for medical help. Cacharel, the image of youthful and romantic French fashion. Anaïs, Anaïs, the essence of French fragrance. Fashion and fragrance combined by Parfum Cacharel in the perfect summer accessory, Le Sac à la Mode, a spirited canvas carry-all. Inside Le Sac, an Anaïs Eau de Toilette spray. Yours for only $12.50 with any $12.50 Anaïs purchase.
now at Palais Royal. Night after night, in city after city, more and more experienced travelers are discovering there really is someone you can count on for consistent comfort, consistent value. And at La Quinta Motor Inns, you always get a nice, comfortable room, free Showtime cable TV, free local calls, outdoor pool, and rates lower than the hotels across the street. La Quinta Motor Inns, consistent comfort, consistent value. Remember when you dropped out and ran off to Colorado? And you were thrown off campus for demonstrating? Oh, chicken sandwich. Oh, no, Taco looks salad. Great, huh? Hey, remember when Crazy Max got arrested for leading that city? <sighs> Whatever happened to Crazy Max? Just that I'm software. Crazy Max. <laughs> Are you sure? Positive. I do his taxes. I wonder if he could use some insurance. No <laughs> place else. It's Chili's. No place else. At McDonnell Douglas, we send sound waves through water to test airplane parts. And by automating the process, we do it ten times faster. Room to land used to be a problem for big airplanes. Our idea? Blow engine exhaust over wing flaps for a slower approach so even our big C-17 can land on very short runways. We're creating breakthroughs in aviation, space, and information systems. We're McDonnell Douglas. In 1979, the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan. Since then, Soviets and Afghans have been at war. Fort Atkinson reports two freedom fighters arrived in Houston tonight for medical treatment. Abdullah Zajwa Khan was greeted like a conquering hero tonight. Actually, it is his people, the Afghans, who are being conquered by the Soviet Union. The 50-year-old man is called a freedom fighter and was brought to Houston for medical treatment of a serious leg injury. He was accompanied by Dr. Daoul Kabir, who runs a medical clinic behind Russian lines in Afghanistan. Kabir will undergo treatment for a hand injury sustained in the war. Both men have been fighting the Soviets for more than five years in a war that has been called the Soviet Union's Vietnam. Intercontinental Airport is half a world away from Afghanistan, but that distance doesn't obscure memories of a country torn apart by war. We are not uh, disappointed or discouraged. Our moral is high, and it's going to be kept that way, and we're going to continue the fight. Dr. Kermit Vegaberg will perform surgery on the Afghans at Katy Community Hospital, which is paying the medical bills. Dr. Vegaberg has visited Afghanistan and has come to know its people. They're like people in West Texas. Well, they're very tough, very individualistic, uh, very warm-hearted. Um, they're a little suspicious of you until uh, they get to know you. Once they get to know you, uh, then they're very, very nice. And... The Afghans will undergo surgery next Wednesday and will recuperate for three weeks. Then they say they will go back home and resume the fighting once more. Fort Atkinson, Channel 2 News. Amidst all the recent evidence of child abuse comes overwhelming evidence that elderly abuse is also on the rise. A congressional survey says that up to a million senior citizens are subjected to physical and mental abuse, most often at the hands of their own children or other relatives. A congressional subcommittee is hearing testimony from some of the one in five elderly victims who report abuse. Both my son-in-law and daughter had tried three times to kill me. Last year on Christmas Day, my son-in-law sucked me across the face. I began to see the pattern. They were trying to make my life miserable for me, so I'd move out and my daughter would have the house. The subcommittee is recommending that Congress consider legislation similar to that in effect in the area of child abuse. On the East Coast, emergency legislation is being considered to fight what could be one of the worst droughts in our nation's history. Forestry officials say very dry conditions along the eastern seaboard are causing an average of 290 fires a day. Reservoirs are so low that some states are already rationing water. But right now, the laws only apply to washing cars and watering lawns. Officials say before the summer is over, they may be forced to ration just how much water people can use for cooking and for cleaning. Well, Doug Johnson will let us know if there's any rain in our forecast when we come back. And then something for the office clock watchers. Stay with us. Only Texas Commerce offers the strength and experience of Texas Commerce bankers like Jerry Hoover, Richmond Sage. Elliot Gerstenhaber builds projects that fit special market needs. Jerry understands our plans and provides the financing that we need. David Smith, Del Oro. 
We specialize in providing financial services for surgeons like Dr. Biggs. And that's why I've been banking at Texas Commerce since I've been in practice. Texas Commerce Banks and Bankers, working for your success. Now's the time I'm going to shine. Right from now, this town's all mine, cause nothing succeeds like the best. This week at Sweeney's, all diamond fashion rings with colored stones are 25% off. Capture the attention you deserve with a fashion ring from Sweeney's. 25% off this week only. Look and see, this is me. Look at me. Capture the attention you deserve. Jewelry from Sweeney Jewelers. Careful of her flowers. Oh, maybe the dining room. Let's try the kitchen. There! At Walgreens Time for Mom Sale, we're about to make the day even brighter for someone special. Oh! All Timex watches are 25% off. All with Timex accuracy, Timex durability, and now, more than ever, Timex value. If you think this beautiful watch is going to get you first dibs on my special cookies, you're right. <laughs> the Timex Time for Mom Sale, now at Walgreens. Please help us find this missing child. Sung Wang was last seen in Northwest Houston the morning of March 22, 1985. She's 15 years old, 5 feet 3 inches tall, and weighs 110 pounds. She has black hair and brown eyes. If you have any information about her, please call 222-3881. Doug's here. He's not too excited about the weekend forecast, but... But the weekend's mm, exciting. Yeah, that, that <laughs> whether, fact. Whether it's or not. Warm temperatures over a large section of the nation tonight. These are the current readings. 80-degree readings are still with us in the state of Texas with 70s all the way up in the Dakotas, where, by the way, there are a lot of heavy thunderstorms tonight. 60s over in the east. It's cooled down a little bit out there. And actually cold temperatures tonight out of the west with 40-degree readings in much of the Rockies. 50s beyond that up into the basin. More 40s over in the northwest. Our low this morning in Houston was 68. The high today was 88. Wind is now out of the south at 8. Relative humidity 65%. Barometric pressure is rising, still very low. And the temperature in Houston 76. For Galveston, the low this morning was uh, 74. The high today was 80. Wind is now out of the south. Relative humidity 67%. Barometric pressure rising and pretty low there as well. And the temperature in the island 76 degrees. Super radar shows a lot of rain falling in the nation tonight. And our own showers falling out in West Texas with very heavy thunderstorms out here. Some reports of hail have come in off and on this evening. We did have a heavy one not too long ago up near Conroe, moving off to the east. It has now dissipated. Also, extremely heavy thunderstorms up through portions of the north. There's a deep low pressure center here with several lows around it. Uh, tornado watches are in effect tonight for portions of the Dakotas, Minnesota, Nebraska, and Kansas, and all those states have reported some tornadic activity tonight. Also, heavy thunderstorms in northern Georgia, the eastern portions of Tennessee, down to the southern extremities of Florida, even way up in the northeast, uh, some thunderstorm activity there. As far as the west is concerned, Concern, mostly light rain around these two fronts. This one, by the way, will be moving well into West Texas by tomorrow and could be moving close to the Houston area by the end of the weekend. The aviation outlook is calling for pretty good weather conditions for us. Marginal to the northeastern part of the state of Texas, up into the plains, also a large area off to the east of us. Turbulence, moderate to severe at some level, will be felt to the north of us in a very large pattern. Freezing levels, 8,000 feet. Uh, way up in the central Rockies, 12,000 feet across the Texas Panhandle region. And here's our frontal system moving into West Texas by tomorrow and a trough for a line of low pressure very close to the Houston area. For the Texas lakes tomorrow in southeast Texas, these are the wind velocities we're predicting and direction. For Lake Livingston tomorrow afternoon, uh, the average wind speed should be about 17 miles per hour, mostly out of the south. Lake Houston southeast at 15, Lake Conroe southeast at 16. Southeasterly winds at 15 miles per hour estimated for Lake Somerville down at Texana, southeast at 15. For the Upper Texas coast winds will be out of the southeast at 15 to 20 knots tomorrow. Wave heights offshore 5 to 7 feet. Bay waters will be choppy. And at last report, beach water temperature in Galveston, 78 degrees. Now pinpointing our forecast for the next 24 hours. Partly cloudy skies overnight. Wind out of the southeast at 10. Low temperature tonight about 69 degrees. Tomorrow morning it will be partly cloudy. Sunrise at 631. By tomorrow afternoon, mostly cloudy skies with occasional scattered showers. Winds out of the southeast at 15 with a high temperature of 89. Tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, partly Partly cloudy, getting down to 70 tomorrow night. Sunset will be at 8.05. So a look at the weekend is calling for not too much change from what we had today. Well, there were a few scattered showers. The Kilburns from Cleveland, Texas, reported a quarter of an inch of rain today, and that's pretty close to the Houston area, one of our weather watchers. So we'll have the same kind of activity for tomorrow as well as for Sunday with a high temperature of 88. Probability of rain more than likely going up on Monday as that front gets close with a high temperature of only 85. 
Well, Don't have a the great front. No weekend. Frost. No frost. You too. No <laughs> frost. Tell your mother hello for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Doug. Here's something for everyone who has a thing about being on time. The government timekeepers are adding one second to the clock on June 30th. The problem is that the Earth isn't quite as precise as the clock, so time has to be adjusted to keep up with the Earth's rotation. That means the last hour of the last day of June will have a minute that is 61 seconds long. So the next time someone comes up to you and ask, got a second? You can tell them yes at the end of June. <laughs> Speaking of time, find time for your mom on Sunday. Yes. That's our news. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Good night. Join Bob Nicholas, Kevin Foreman, and Craig Roberts for the weekend edition of Channel 2 News. We won't tell you how to save 30 to 50% at JCPenney's red, white, and blue tag sale. We'll show you. Every red tag sign you see means 30% off the original prices. Every white tag sign means 40% off. And every blue tag sign means 50% off. You'll find these savings all through the store for men, women, kids, even for your home. It's the red, white, and blue tag sale at JCPenney. Now, isn't that too good for words? At Sutherland's, we're making our mark with quality brand names of unbeatable value during our big brand sale now. Choose this washerless single-handle chrome kitchen faucet and get a $6 manufacturer rebate. Or get a $4 manufacturer rebate on this acrylic dual-handle lavatory faucet. Both have a 10-year limited warranty. Turn on big savings with quality Aqualine faucets during the big brand sale today at Sutherland's. Helping you build it better. Your El Torito, Appetito, it's a craving that can suddenly come over you. Your El Torito, Appetito, when only something with a taste of Mexico would do. New El Torito really satisfies your craving for Mexican food with original recipes and ingredients delicioso. Now spicier and cheesier, and there's an El Torito for every Appetito. In this case of Tuzatillo, when she loves the burritos, who gives a jalapeno? El Torito satisfies your Appetito. This is Channel 2, growing with Houston.